backlash written on me. Card robbing on a glass bowl. I've been falling. Bring my ladies in the counter now. Hey guys, Darsh here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus and whether or not you should buy them. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. Now actually with a little bit of a further ado, I'd like to give a huge shout out to our sponsors for this episode which is .tech domains. Now I have darksign.tech which perfectly represents my brand and takes you right here to my YouTube channel where you guys are watching this video. So if you guys want to be like many big companies like CES, moving over to .tech domains, check out the link in the description and use the coupon code around here to get a pretty good deal on .tech domains. Without any further ado though, now let's get into this review. Now this video is going to be broken up into two sections, it's going to be the good and the bad. It's going to be the dessert and the veggies, but I like my dessert first so... Samsung for a while now has needed to get back up on its feet proving that it can make phones that don't necessarily blow up. You know, the Note 7 was a fantastic phone and everything about it was great. It was almost the perfect Android phone until it started exploding. And I think Samsung was going for the same kind of approach here and they did an amazing job. Because the Galaxy S8 is an amazingly well designed and put together phone. With beautiful edges and curves, the design is so unique, I love it. You know, the edge to edge screen is great for media content and is something that looks great, though I wouldn't like to see it on more phones, it's an amazingly well appreciated feature here. The phone's also super fast and really does end up getting the job done, it's super efficient, and just speaking of performance, the fingerprint sensor, though it was in a sh position, it surprisingly was pretty easy for me to use and get used to. You know, the general performance was super good as well, we know with no hiccups whatsoever, the camera also was stellar, you know, it covers all the boxes, it ticks all the checks off. It's the same sensor from last year and it did such an amazing job last year with some small minor tweaks this year, it fits right in. And another great thing that I liked was the slim bezels. Of course, how can that screen look so good without those fantastically thin bezels with the curved corners? I just loved it. This phone is overall, in my opinion, fantastic. Now, moving in to the bad or the veggies of the device of the Galaxy S8, here is what I did not like about it and the gripes that I had with the Galaxy S8. As Hannah Montana once said, nobody's perfect and the Galaxy S8 definitely isn't. Starting off with the fingerprint sensor, I know I just said that it was fine for me, but that's just it. The fingerprint sensor worked fine for me, and I'm afraid that won't be the case for everyone else, especially if you go for the Galaxy S8 Plus. See, I use the Galaxy S8 Plus, and I have relatively big hands, so in turn, a more regular sized hand or something a little bit smaller may have some trouble or some difficulty putting your fingerprint on it, because though my hands are big, I still didn't fit holding the phone. But my experience may differ from yours, so of course, check it out in store first. Now regardless, another issue I found was the fingerprint magnet that it was due to the glass on the back. Look, Samsung, make as many glass backed phones as you want, I love them, but we gotta figure out some way to make sure that it's not as fingerprinty. But if you guys wanna fix that temporarily like I did, I got a dbrand skin, I always find it as the way to go when it comes to protecting from scratches and just dealing with the fingerprint magnet problem. Check out the link in the description, they have some great stuff. Now another issue I found that was pretty bothersome for me was the phone screen. Now it does not have great palm rejection or finger rejection and since they have the edge to edge screen, it's a little bit of an issue for me when my hands wrapped over it, especially during videos. I have a lot of accidental touches and I do find them just generally annoying. I think I just genuinely didn't like the edge. I know that's the highlight feature and all, but let me just explain, it's a super beautiful thing to look at, but I've never found any real use for it. I would have probably preferred a flat screen, I think that's why I gravitate a lot more towards the LG G6, more so than the Galaxy S8. But the last thing that started to annoy me was the speaker. I was really upset to see no stereo sound on the Galaxy S8, considering how expensive it is and how even the iPhone has it, kinda means that Samsung's falling behind, so you better hurry up Samsung. But really, to be honest with you, these are just small things, and like most flagships now, they're pretty damn good. <laughs> Honestly, like with most phones, just go in the store, try it out, and you probably won't regret it. With that all being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you did enjoy it. And if you did, make sure to like this video, smash that like button, let's try to get to 50 likes. You know, if you liked it, but you had some feedback, drop down some feedback down below in the comment section. Let me know, don't, don't uh, hold back. I really wanna know what you guys like in these videos. Another thing guys, if you'd like to share this video, share it, please do. Subscribe to the channel, I'm trying to get to two grand or 2K followers. 
ASAP. Check out my social medias, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys all so much for watching one last time, and I'll see you guys all later. Flash written on me, caught robbing on a glass bowl, I've been falling.